Hello, scumbags. Did you miss me? I no, missed you. No, the answer is no. Brock missed me. No one did. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. I'm so happy to be back talking to all of you and talking to these two, but mostly to all of you. Uh, today's going to be a pretty fun, pretty fun little thing. We're placing bets. <laughs> okay, so put your money where your mouth is and put your mouth where your money is. We got bets going. Uh, it's going to be exciting. But first, we want to let you know about some crazy stuff that's happening in the near future because we got some Christmas plans, if I'm not mistaken. I have to pull it up on the phone because my memory is bad. So here we go. Just want to remind you that is on that December 25th, which is Christmas, <laughs> we're doing our favorite things. We're going to be talking about favorite things, which is always fun. Then on December 31st, which is New Year's Eve. We are doing the year in review. Yeah. And then ranking Star Wars on January 1st. Ranking Star Wars, I like how it's become like a tradition with us. And it's always like <laughs> slightly different every time. And people's opinions get a little wonky. And it's crazy. Uh, so that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. And it's gonna see, be this year we have other podcasters joining us on the ranking. And our Patreons are joining us too. So the list is, I've seen a bunch of uh, rankings. And not, no two have been identical yet. Really? That's surprising, actually. I like that a lot. I like that that's happening. And we finally get to see James's new place. Uh, <laughs> cool garage, bro. Cool garage, bro. <laughs> Where's your dog? She's eating a chew toy. You might hear it squeak in a couple seconds. <laughs> if you hear a squeak, it's not coming from our bodies. Let's preface that. <laughs> Fan favorite well, Haley. <laughs> okay. Actually, some people, I was getting comments that they say that... That she needs to be on every episode, and I so now she will be locked up in a kennel. <laughs> <laughs> you do have that uh, pet camera thing. We should cut to it every once in a while on the show. Oh my! God. <laughs> that, that'll be for the Patreon people. They get footage of Haley just every now and then sitting in her kennel. So we're placing on her little mat. <laughs> I hope I hope I heard that squeak a lot today. If I don't, I'll be disappointed. Uh, but we're placing bets. Uh, now, you gentlemen don't know what I have written down in this thing right here, but uh, I wrote down a bunch of questions regarding a certain movie called Star Wars Episode Nine and what could possibly happen yeah. in it. So I'm I just pose... interrupt you right here. Go for it. I hope we're recording this maybe a little bit earlier than it will be on YouTube and on my internet. It will be a lot earlier than it goes up on YouTube. <laughs> but what it. Never tell me uh, the uh, the title of episode nine dropping before we put this on YouTube. <laughs> I was so worried about that because people kept saying, "Oh, it's going to happen," and I'm like, "Damn it! I hope it doesn't happen." Um, but even if it happens, it's not going to ruin the fun because some of these questions are are actually going to be pretty interesting, and I can't wait to hear what y'all say about it. So I have my trusty red pen. Here we go, and I'm going to start us off <laughs> with. Question one, let's start you off with a bit of a humdinger here. All right. All right. And folks at home, feel free to follow along and send us your answers because I want to know what you all think too. Question one, regarding episode nine, what will the film's runtime be? Hmm. James, do you want to go first? 237. <laughs> no, 217. 217. 217. 217. See, wow. That's a good question because, like, here's what. Why? why? Oh, no, I was going to say because 237 would make sense to me because it's the last one. But I feel like J.J. Abrams is a type of filmmaker that won't go extra long. Yeah. He will know what to cut. And so I'm going to go two, 217 to 221. Can I do that? Is that a cheat? No, I think that's fair. Okay, I'll, let, me, let me do Let's, that. Well, why don't we call it like you have a five-point window around your number. So five points ahead or five... So a ten-point window, I mm -hmm. guess, is the real thing. Um, I am I like this question because it'll be interesting how close we get. I'm going to go to 28. Ooh. <laughs> strictly, okay. 28. strictly just... Uh, are you, are you pr prizes writing me right now? <laughs> Like one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. No, that I would have been two eighteen. Oh, no, but the five minute it was a like five minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yes. All right, I like those answers. Uh, it's funny. My second question, literally, 
the press answered it for me a couple days after I wrote this. <laughs> the second question was, do you think we'll see DJ again? And it turns out no is the answer to that question. Oh, so, yes! <laughs> but, so I replaced it with something else and we'll get to it. Um, so here is the next question. What's Yoda saying? He says whatever you want to say. Oh, <laughs> Good job, Yoda. It doesn't uh, work when we're talking at the same time. <laughs> That's a creepy Yoda. All right. <laughs> next question is, will... Batu appear. Batu, the planet that uh, got Star Wars Galaxy Edge is going to take place in, and is in Thrawn Alliances. Alliances that's yes. right. The odds, or what was the question? Uh, yes or no? Will it appear? Yeah. Yes or no? No. No. Um. No. Once the red pen hath spoken, the red pen hath cannot take them back. <laughs> There's no going back, Brock. There's no turning back. No, because here's the thing I think about Disney. They don't care what the movie... I know it doesn't make sense, but I feel like their parks can survive. Even though it's based on movie stuff, they're like, no, no, we're fine. <laughs> it's Star Wars. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. So that's a no. I'm... What'd you say? I'm with Brock. Zero percent for me as well. That is n that is a negative on um, Batu because that is it is in the book, and it is the theme park and mm -hmm. the theme park. And Brock says Disney doesn't care. I think J.J. Abrams doesn't care. And if it's not <laughs> yeah. good, can you hear the squeak toy? Yeah. yeah. And if that, it is yeah. not going, if it's not going to fit into his movie that he wants to do, <laughs> then it's not going to happen. She's agreeing with you. That's what that <laughs> means. Yeah. It's just Aaron. It's actually, there's not, no dog. It's just Aaron squeaking a toy, <laughs> feeding you answers. <laughs> it's it's been Aaron with a hand puppet the, the whole same, time. <laughs> she's not even in the same room as me. That's how loud that thing is. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, from the parks, yeah, that would make sense to do a movie. But like, I don't, I don't know. I think they already know that that park is paying itself off. And it's it's not necessary either. It's not necessary mm -hmm. because it's it's in the park and you're going to go to the park for Star Wars and it doesn't yeah. matter if that world... Like, you almost want it to be a unique world to where you are. Yeah. Not so much in the movie. It can ruin it for you. So, red pen and N beside my name, <laughs> Andrew Fantasia. Oh, I, I write the N-O. Okay, I don't half-ass this thing. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Next question. Will we see Leia's death? I thought about this one. Can I call a? Can you call a what? I think he wants to call a friend. A friend. You can ask the audience. <laughs> Our good folks at AT and T will hook you up with a friend. We go fifty fifty on this one. <laughs> full Brock. Ooh, full Brock. Um, no, I'm gonna say no because I feel like that's too predictable. I mean, yeah, you could wrap it up, but it's like. Haven't we seen enough funerals? I mean, I know we don't see Han's funeral technically in the movie, but, like, haven't we killed, killed off enough characters? Can't it be just, like, everyone understands that they, they used old footage, never seen footage, to make this work. If it happens, I'm okay with it, but I'm going to say no. That's my gut feeling. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a really, really tough question to answer. Because I don't know the answer. And it's, like Brock said, there's enough deaths going on yeah. that you don't need. But at the same time, you want to conclude her story, I think. So what's the best way to conclude it? I don't know if, if killing her off and having a funeral is the best way. But yeah. how else do you get her out of there? Aside from maybe yeah. going, you know, trying to find another galaxy to live on, survive on. Um, it'll be, I'm very, very intrigued by how they end Leia's story satisfactory like without killing her off is that is what i'm saying so i'm gonna go see if luke wasn't dead i would say a hard yes on this because i really think a leia funeral scene would be very poignant mm -hmm. and be nice a moment it could bookend you know the the vader burning by luke in some capacity i'm gonna go yes <laughs> don't laugh at the squeak <laughs> Haley, oh, did... Haley, is leia's gonna be in it well hey come here come <laughs> Well, well, we get. <laughs> <laughs> she knocked down. She knocked down a Naboo starfighter. She just knocked it down. Well, we know where her alliances lie. Uh, so I'm gonna put you down for a yes. Okay. 
Well, what yeah, about you, I, Andrew? What do you think? Because I see you put Brock, yeah, James, we, and Andrew. Yeah. You should put your own answers in so we have a little bit more. Or do, or do you have to be... Uh, 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 like impartial? Impartial. Uh, no, I don't have to be impartial. All right. I, can, I can put some answers Why in. Why don't you answer the first couple of yourself and then... Okay. Don't tell us. Just write. Oh right. no, 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 tell us. <laughs> All right. For runtime, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little overzealous here. I'm gonna go two forty three. See, I was gonna say something Ooh, like that. Like that they were like they were gonna go. Um, what's it called? Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Exactly. Area. That's what I was I'm thinking. Like, why not? And, and Blade Runner is slow, yeah. so you kind of but, feel the length. But Star Wars, you won't feel the length. No. <laughs> what's JJ? Who's got a computer in front of them? What's JJ Abrams' longest movie? Uh, You're right. It's probably something dinky, like probably Force Awakens. I'd say two sixteen. That's that what I mean. I, he it. knows what to cut, and I think Blade Runner didn't make a lot. I haven't seen it yet, and everyone says it's really good, but they didn't make a lot of money, and they're going to be like, "We need this," and so I think they're going to really kind of. But they got to tie up all the loose ends. Mm-hmm. But I knew you're going to go along with it. I oh, I, it. I had to. It's how I roll, baby. Um, but two, I'm going to go a hard yes, actually. My my gut's telling me that we will see Batu. Yeah, like I don't hate that idea. Yeah. But like I think it would be work. Uh, uh, I looked it up. I think it, what Mission it, Impossible it, Fallout is his longest movie at two twenty eight. Oh wait, he didn't make that. Though. That's, that's oh. his movie. Yes, he just produced it. Ah, uh, fair. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Um. So Leia's death, James. Am I putting you down for a no? Yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. Were you not listening to me? I Haley, listened to the squeak the toy. No, I, yes, I, yeah, let's do it. Let's have it. You're going to have do a yes. It. All right. Yes, let's do it. I'm writing that whole sentence down. I'm going to say no on Leia's death myself. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's in the cards. ILM is good, but they're not that good. Let's <laughs> see. All right, next question. Will we see a force power we have never seen before? I hope not. Yeah, like... And that's kind of a weighted question because it's like we've only, that we haven't seen in cinema or we haven't seen ever because like mm. there's probably a bunch of things in Clone Wars that we haven't seen. Don't fact check me on that. To make it easier, let's say in cinema. Yeah, Maybe. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say yes because they seem to be really pushing the idea that uh, Knights, the Knights of Ren, will be in this. And I could see if they had two teams of force wielders fighting each other, that each one to make them more significant would be like, here's my cool move. Uh, I have okay. I have force I have force tickling. Uh, <laughs> that guy's great at parties, whoever yeah. that's gonna be. <laughs> I wanna say no just because when do we say enough is enough? I, you know, I, I don't want I've said this multiple times, I don't want the force to be a superpower. Yeah. This is not the MCU. So I think, look, what we've seen the Force do, I think we have, especially with the prequels, I think we've seen it do enough. Now they can do all of those things we know they can do better. Yeah. Maybe slightly, you know, revise what they can do. A little touch here and there, especially with effects. Like, you know, like Kylo Ren stopping the bullet, uh, the the blaster in yeah. Force Awakens. It's super cool. We've never seen that before. But would you call that a new a new skill yeah i don't know i think that's something that we all kind of figured it could happen but i just don't want to see someone flying <laughs> right i was yeah. just gonna say like uh yeah like each person wields the force in a different way so why can't like you know stopping like uh like uh stopping like blaster fire uh you just go like this or you can be like kylo ren where like you're not even doing anything and it just stays in motion or whatever uh, yeah. yeah, I would be okay with that. Um, so, Andrew, I think we have to come back to this question when we've seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back to all the questions when we see the movie. <laughs> what do you think, Andrew? I don't know if you answered I'm that. going with no for this one because I feel like if this is the last one, it's like the final exam, you know? And on the final exam, they don't throw new stuff at you. They mm. make you sort of rework everything you learned. So yeah. I feel like he's going to show us what we've seen before in different ways, but not necessarily yeah. new things. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, we went to the same school and they always threw us different things that we never learned on all the final exams. <laughs> well, if you were like me and you bought the answers off that sketchy kid in the bathroom, you wouldn't have had the same problem. <laughs> Next question is how many different... Force ghosts will we see? Huh. 
I hope lots. <laughs> Do you kind of want that Lord of the Rings where like Ray's like, this is the village of the damned. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. And like, you know, when, uh, uh, what's his name? Ryder Aragorn. Yeah. That's his name, right? When he goes and he brings up all like those dead soldiers, do you think it'd be them with like Luke, Yoda, Mace? The, although Mace wouldn't be one. Just It's just Luke, Yoda, and Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. <laughs> and those Anakin. are the only ones that show up. They, they feel like a billion. Um, Your I'm Daisy Ridley say... is spot on, by the way. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Zero. I, I want to say one because Mark Hamill has to do something. Mm-hmm. Uh, Does he? Uh, well, he's in it. Flashbacks, flashbacks, Brock. Flashbacks. Flashbacks. Yeah. Flashbacks. Uh, I'm going to say one, one to three. <laughs> one to three. I feel like they, if they're going to do it, they're going to put Anakin in this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be great. And you could always bring either Obi-Wan or Yoda back. I think Yoda... Sh- mm. I mean, oh, the problem with Obi-Wan is like... Do you cast Ewan McGregor or do you, you do a CG? Yeah, Alec Guinness. I don't know. So I'm gonna say I I won't full Brock it. I'll give you one at least. <laughs> okay. Uh, and James, you're going with a hard zero. Well, no, I don't really think zero, but I want to go zero just to go against the grain. Okay. I feel like I agree with Brock on it. I just I kind of think it would be ballsy not to have a Force Ghost in it. And we, I, my, I'm. It's Yoda's the one that I'm trying to figure. Like, are we done with Yoda yet? Mm-hmm. And I kind of want to be. I want to be done with Luke. I don't want to be done with Luke, but I kind of feel like if his story is done, let it be done. Yeah. Uh, and go back in time and show me what actually happened. Yeah. Uh, what that story is with him. Um, Especially with Ryan Johnson's ending of Luke, whether you like it or not, he was going for something, and the more you bring him back, the less impact that that has as a whole. And you got to think everybody working on it kind of understands that to some degree. So I'm going to say, I'm not going to believe what I'm saying, but I'm going to go with zero, but I actually think it's going to be one. But I'm going to go zero. I think flashbacks is a way... If you if you do flashbacks and force ghosts, they kind of can work together. Where like, uh, Ray goes into some kind of like Jedi trance, and she starts talking to force goose, force goose, <laughs> force ghost Luke, yeah. and then that's how you get your flashbacks. He's telling the story, and then you can sort of get your like he's talking to younger Lando or something like that, and there's something. Oh, that- okay, and they kind of pull like a. Um- like in Daredevil season three, where Kingpin's learning about. Oh, spoilers! Uh, <laughs> but um, like that kind of thing. Like, hey, look at this! Now we're in the room with young Lando and Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> we can't see it on the record. Um, uh, <laughs> um, no, yeah, and then like he's telling the, his story, so you get young. He can be in the movie as himself still, and then somehow she under she it comes. Ray ha- learns something and then shows up to the last battle with all these Force Ghost bonders. She's able to harness all these oh, Force Ghosts. <laughs> Qui Gon, Anakin, uh, Plo Koon. <laughs> oh, well, there better be some Plo Koon. Bro- Broom Boy. Sorry, he dies at some <laughs> point. <laughs> and Anakin, you know, like. And then, yeah, I guess basically I'm ripping off your Lord of the Ring idea. I like that. I like both That's of fine. those answers. Any way to bring Anakin back works for me. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be gutsy here and say four. I feel like wow. four is a nice round number for this. Uh, all right, here's the next question here. Returning your, returning your novel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta tell everybody about that. Oh, we will. He, he'll do it in his plugs. Okay, next up in the plugs. Wait, maybe we already did. This is airing after the last episode, so we did mention it. Everyone get on that contest to win his book. Go on, Andrew. Fourth dimensionally, that's how we have to think. At the beginning of the movie, will Ray (laughs) and Poe be an item? Ugh. No. (laughs) Uh, I see where you're going. No, because shut up, Andrew. (laughs) 
Wait, at the beginning of the movie, will Poe introduce himself to Ray? <laughs> Again. And she's like, she's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to stop meeting like this. Uh, I, I want, you know, you might be onto something. I'm going to say no because I like uh, why. I just don't know why. Like yeah. why, why, no, why, why? Okay, I'm going to say yes just because I'm cool. No kidding. You wrote the question. I wouldn't go that far. The next question is, at the end of the movie, will Ray and Poe be an item? Oh, my God. You are really on this item thing. How about you go first, Andrew? I'm going to say no on that one. Why? (laughs) Wow, they're going to break up through the movie? Somebody might break up. Somebody might die. You know, maybe maybe he takes her, you know, to Chili's and, you know, they have like a nice (laughs) little talk and... She's like, you know, we've got war coming and I've got to fight this emo guy. There's no Chili's Stanton. Welcome to Chili's, anywhere you like. <laughs> um, There's no Chili's in Scranton. My God. Yeah. I'm going to go no again. I just don't see... Uh, I'm not against it, but I think Poe needs to be focused on the part of the the resistance you know what i mean yeah. like he's he's the guy that kind of represents the resistance throughout these other movies so. he's got stuff to do now. yeah like yeah. so <laughs> you moving to hastings is the best thing that ever happened in this podcast. I think, I think Haley really wants that to happen like <laughs> i like poe all right get um, not not Oh, you're going to unplug me. Uh, hard no for me as well. Hard no. Okay. Moving the on. Dog left. This is disappointing. Moving on from that. How many flashbacks will there be? Hmm. Going on my theory that I just made up 30 seconds ago, I'm going to say five. I'm going three to five. Yeah. I want to say three to five, two, sort of like the the flashbacks are like acts, so three acts in mm-hmm. a play, but maybe do a little bit more to explain the idea of a flashback because, you know, like, they're not like, okay, let's go to this flashback. So you kind of have to explain to the audience. Yeah. Maybe you can do that in three. I don't know. I just feel like if you're going to go 245 for a movie, you might as well f- flesh out those <laughs> flashbacks. Out, yeah. All right. So three to five, both of you, huh? Okay. I'm going to say... Oh, oh, the- no. No, you're you're changing? No, no, I said we both wrote the script, so we know. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh well I'm gonna say three and you can let me know how wrong I am. Okay. Next question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the dog does not care what you have to say. No, she is indifferent to our episode nine talk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please push him out of the chair. Please push him out. <laughs> this is a fight. Wow. Man versus that beast. That guy will really, win. That got really intense. <laughs> <laughs> the best is we can't hear you at all. I didn't say anything. <laughs> but you can't even hear uh, like the, the, uh, the sound yeah. of like movement in the room. <laughs> it was just a totally silent fight. All right. Will Ray's parents be shown on screen yes <laughs> oh interesting i don't know what to say because like that's a weighted question because you're saying it doesn't mean they can't be revealed mm-hmm. you're saying you'll actually see them i'll go yo yes because i think people want to freaking know yeah even um, if it's just a tombstone, it says Obi Wan, <laughs> Obi Wan, and Chief and Palpatine. Oh, oh and Aaron, well. Aaron just called me. Aaron, we're recording the podcast. They can't hear you. Hold on, hold on. Speakerphone. You can That's fine. Hear it. So, Aaron, will uh-huh. will Ray's parents be seen in Episode Nine? <laughs> sure. What'd you say? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's a yes all around. I'm also saying yes. I'm on speaker. You're on speaker. Andrew Fantasia said yes. I said yes. And Brock said yes. Anyway, drive safe.
Bye. This is wicked content we got going here. <laughs> All the best at Rebel Scum Podcast. <laughs> All right. Here's a tough it, one. Here's a tough I wasn't going to answer, but I thought she could weigh in on that question. It was a good question. <laughs> Will somebody use force lightning? Interesting. I want to say yes. Because, like I said, if we get Knights of Ren, one of them can do it. Because I feel like they don't want Kylo to do it because you haven't seen it yet. Right. But perhaps you need to be the main evil guy to do the Force thing. <laughs> so here's a question for you, Brock. Are the Knights of Ren bad guys? Good question. I mean, they could easily... I mean, what we've seen in the Darth Vader comic and Clone... Or, sorry, Rebels with, like, the Inquisitor. Inquisitor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the second... Second cousin and the fourth, <laughs> fourth uh, brother from the left. I like um, that. But they've really been pushing in the Darth Vader comic, so, like, why couldn't the Knights of Ren be something like that? So, like, uh, Palpatine created it because, like, well, maybe Vader doesn't work out, or maybe we need Vader needs competition. Maybe, uh, what's his face? Snow creates the Knights of Ren just to keep <laughs> Kylo busy. I'm starting to think Haley is a Knight of Ren. <laughs> Are you a knight of Ren? You can kind of hear. Yeah, we can hear her on that one. <laughs> and what do you think? Uh, you, did you say? I'm gonna say yes. I feel like that's become a staple of yeah. the end of a trilogy now too. It just feels right. It, it, visually, it always looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> All right. Moving on to the back of the paper. This is where stuff gets real. <laughs> okay. Now, these ones uh, these ones are a little bit tricky. Here we go. Who is more likely to appear? Snoke or Palpatine? Ooh. Sheev. I'm going to go with Snoke. Because it's like, I don't think we need to know any more about Palpatine. And I think people kind of sure. want to know why Snoke... Is there at all? Like, what was his importance? Including... <laughs> yeah. I still think that Snoke is is lady lazy uh, writing, um, but I think Sheev. That's I think Sheev. I want Sheev, but I'm gonna go with Snoke as well. I'm feeling like. And, you know, Andy Circus saying that he wish he didn't die is kind of saying, like, oh, so you are in the next one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. Okay. Next question is similar. Who is more likely to appear? <laughs> Yoda or Ankar Plutt? <laughs> Quarter portion. <laughs> uh, Yoda. Can they even have Ankar Plutt return because his arms are ripped off? But they're not ripped off? Well, the way I see it is that, if if we're not yeah. getting Unkar Plutt, that means we're not getting Ray's backstory. I mean, you lose body parts in the Star Wars universe doesn't mean anything. Look, like Darth Maul is alive. Mm-hmm. Sort of. You don't know, but I mean, what I mean is like if they bring him back and he has arms, then people are going to be like, wow, his yeah. arms were ripped off in the book and deleted scenes. Then if he, ha- if he doesn't have arms, people who didn't see that are like, why are her- his arms ripped off? Yeah. So it's... Um, it causes problems. Also, see, Andrew, I would disagree on the backstory part because you could still figure out her parents without Uncar Plutt being in it. Um, you just want to know why he was left in charge of her. And it could be a um, flashback, too. So yeah. you can put him in yeah. and he still has arms. It could even be that same image where he's like, come on, girl, like yeah. that. That would count. Yeah. And I would kind of go, I would probably say Uncar Plutt because I'm. I just why, why bring Yoda back? We just had Yoda. He had a great scene. That's a good ending for him. Get him out of here. Don't keep to the well. Don't keep going to the Yoda well. We had him. He was fun. Everyone complained because he was a puppet. His cheeks were chubby or whatever. Yeah. No one's ever happy. Let's move on. <laughs> I, 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 Uncar Blood is not a better character than Yoda, but let's you know we got these new characters. Let's flesh out their stories. I like that answer. I'm also gonna go. Ankar Plutt. Brock, what do you think? Uh, I think I said Yoda. You're good with Yoda? Yoda over... Yeah, I just... I don't know. 
Though I can agree that he's a good way to get to raise parents in some way. Hmm. I like these different answers. That means somebody's going to be a loser come December 2019. <laughs> Next question. Who is more likely to die? Ray, Finn, or Poe? Uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think that the only way there can be a winning side between Ray and Kylo is that they both sort of die at the same time. So I'm going to say Ray. But really any of those guy any of those characters can be like, yeah, I mean Finn Finn could sacrifice Finn and both Poe and Finn could sacrifice cuz they've even though Poe is more altruistic, Finn could now change and you know, sacrifice himself. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll put you down for some Ray. Yeah. Ray, a drop of golden sun. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying that if it's Finn, that would be crap because he's almost died twice. True, yeah. Uh, and and I'm just I just let him live because I don't want and I don't even want to see him come close to dying unless it's in the first scene and he gets blown to bits. <laughs> I love Finn though. I don't want Finn. Like, I don't want Finn to die. I'm just saying if mm -hmm. he's gonna die, it better happen right away. And there's no question about whether he'll return. Because he was he almost died in Force Awakens. Yep. Oh, he's still breathing, or he's got a heartbeat. Great, cool. He's, you know, we all knew he was coming back. But then Rose has to have the greatest line in cinema history and save him. So it's like, okay, well, it's again Finn at the end of the movie is gonna, you know, not dying. Um Poe also all uh, died at one point as well. <laughs> <laughs> but that's more forgettable. And his character of all the new characters, with the exception of maybe Kylo, his character grew the most in The Last Jedi. And so he would possibly be the one that would have the most emotional impact if he does die for us and the characters in the movie, in the universe. Uh, so between, for me, it's between him and Ray. Ray seems like the most <laughs> plausible of the two. Like the, the one that's probably going to get out of here. The one that's probably going to happen. Um... Ray. I'm going to go Ray. Well, I got two Rays. <clears throat> See, I'm I'm feeling similar here. Like, I don't want any of them to die. I want, you yeah. know, after episode nine, I want a sitcom, like two guys, a girl in a pizza place, but with <laughs> them three. Because um, I love them so much. But if I had to choose here. Ryan Reynolds, two guys, a girl in a pizza place, and he did not tweet me back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to go with Poe. Um, just because, like you said, he does seem like He's the one who's got his stuff together now, whereas the other two don't really yet. So that's a J.J. Abrams and thing. With his death. Mm. Yeah. So that's my money's on Poe, unfortunately. But I hope everybody's okay. <clears throat> All right. Who's Rock, physical? I want you in his house ever again. <laughs> what? What did you say? You don't want Andrew in your house ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Whose physical appearance will change the most between episodes eight and nine. Ray, Kylo Ren, or C-3PO? <laughs> He'll have a blue arm. I'll start uh, this Kylo, one off. Let's go back I, to the mask. You think it's Kylo? I think it's going to yeah. be Ray 100%. I'm going to go Kylo as well, because there's rumors that the mask is back, but like as the new leader, maybe he'll do something fun with the costume. So. Because of masks. And, you know, um, toys. Yes. Toys make all the difference. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Now we're getting, now we're getting into the nitty gritty here. How many different lightsaber colors will we see two uh, it's a hard two all right well i don't know i mean it's probably I'm, I'm i would hope for like four <laughs> but it's gonna be red and blue or red and green who knows i mean another I'm trying to another rumor that came up was like uh she has the lightsaber again that got ripped apart luke's luke's anakin's rays lightsaber got Torn in two, and she's rebuilt it, and it kind of looks like Kylo's. Mm. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just to give a different answer. I'm gonna say five because I want some more Jedi's. 
Five colors. I like that okay. answer. Um, I'm going to go three. Okay. I feel like we'll see a green. A green's going to get snuck in there somewhere. I don't know where, but it's going to be maybe somebody we don't expect. Yeah, I mean, if we do get flashbacks and all yeah. we have to do is go to Luke's school and they all have different lightsabers. And, oh, exactly. Yeah, Just so. one shot is all it would take. Yeah. And then those are toys galore from that. Yeah. Um, okay, which of the following words is most likely to be spoken? Sith, Palpatine, or Amidala? Amidala. I like that confidence. Listen. Well, we got Palpatine in Last mm. Jedi, and you know I'm a hardcore prequel fan. Mm -hmm. Bring me some Padme Amidala. I mean, there is a rumor. Well, not a rumor. There's a theory. I think Mike Zero or someone like that thought it up that, like, somehow Kylo gets a hold of footage of his grandmother and that mm. does something to him in the movie. So I was like, oh, interesting. Um, I'm going to say Sith, which is not exciting. <laughs> Obviously, mentioning Amidala would be great. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll happen. I it really won't. want, but I'm going with it. <laughs> I really want to hear Amidala. Yeah. Um, but I'm also going to go with Sith. I yep. feel like somebody. I didn't hear you say Sith off the top. By the way. Oh. Is uh, that what you whisper, Breath? You went. <laughs> I heard you go. <laughs> well, Sith is probably my answer too. Yeah. But I'm, you know what? I'm sticking with Amidala. Yeah, I like well. that you're sticking with Amidala. That's good. I hope you're right. Well, it's it's going to be Sith, but I hope I'm right too, Andrew. <laughs> I, I hope Brock and I get to eat our words and, and you end up being right. <laughs> oh, I hope it tastes like cake. Yeah. All right. What kind we, of cake? Chocolate ice cream. Naboo. Ooh. Upside down Naboo Rubble Double. <laughs> if we only see one planet. From episodes one through six, which one will we see? Naboo. Mustafar. It's a hard Naboo. Oof. I like that. That's like two. Those like those two plants are like the two different ends of the spectrum. It's like the beginning and the end. So yeah. it's like ooh, uh, yeah. I but, hope it's, uh, I hope I hope it's Coruscant and we get some decks. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Mustafar for you, uh, James? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, but you know that I would prefer Naboo over the two, but I'm going to go with uh, Mustafar because I think showing Vader's castle in Rogue One. Yeah. Why? 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 If you're not going to show me more of it some at another time, why show it to me then? That's all. And it's uh, it's actually in the Darth Vader comic right now. They're dealing with how they built it. Oh, cool. So it's uh, it's interesting. So. I think we're going to get to see the very fast, very dangerous pod racing on Malice there. That's a lie. Uh, <laughs> I actually think it's going to be Naboo mm. because we saw no caring about the Naboo. So I feel like, you know, the end is the beginning is the end. Yeah. And because we started there, we're going to finish yeah. there. That's what I prefer. Mm -hmm. All right. This one's a big one. Okay. So. Kerry Russell, yep. Richard E. Grant, yep. Naomi Aki, Matt Smith, and Dominic Monaghan. Of these new actors, who is the most likely to use a lightsaber? I think Naomi Aki and uh, what's his face? Dominic Monaghan are supposed to be resistance. Or, well, based, that doesn't mean anything, but they're going to be more like resistance. I can see that myself, and this is based on nothing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take them out. Not that they couldn't. I'm going to go Richard E. Grant. Ooh, you said Matt Smith, choice. too, right? I did, yeah. Because isn't the theory on Matt Smith is he's going to be like young Palpatine or something uh, That's like that? one of the theories. I don't know if I buy it. I feel like if they're going to use Palpatine, they're going to use Palpatine. I feel like yeah, Matt... why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like Matt Smith, you can sell him on this movie. I think Richard D. E. Grant, you have to kind of... Oh, no, that's not true. I think he says, like, oh, I always love this movie. Yeah. But uh, that would he would be a interesting. I don't know. I'll still stick with that. Richard E. Grant, I like that. Who do you think, James? 
Brad, you don't have to sell any actor on Star Wars. It is a paycheck. I think. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. What the, the what's what's the guy from Terminator Genesis? Genesis. Uh, Matt Smith. Matt Smith. I'm gonna go with Matt Smith. Yeah. All right, Doctor Who is using a saber in James's version of the movie. Uh, the only version of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess Kerry Russell. Hmm. Do you I'm think f- Ray's mom will have a lightsaber? Yeah. What? Well, I'm feeling like... Dick Dolphy like that. She seems very like <laughs> spry and athletic and like she could pull out some ninja moves. I'm feeling some some Carrie Russell with a lightsaber here. Maybe Mara Jade. Who knows? Oh. I don't know. Something's gonna happen. Uh, and now she was the first one to mind when you said that, and then I I I, I thought about it in my head, and I was like, mm, too predictable for me. But then you know, you go back to that uh, Captain Marvel trailer, which punches the old lady, and predictability is what we get. So. <laughs> She's a scroll, okay? Everybody's a scroll, even me. Now this, oh, not the kid that you think would be the scroll. <laughs> it should have been the bus driver. As like yeah. symbolism that the scrolls are it should driving. The, it should have been the dog. <laughs> All right, last question. Now, what's interesting about this last question is we're going to leave you in a bit of suspense here and we're going to answer it on Rebel Scum Podcast because the last question Ooh. is what will be the official title of episode nine? Uh, Star Wars Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> the delay. <laughs> uh, so we're going to answer that on oh. Rebel Scum Podcast? Yes, we are, because I believe we're going to be talking about that in episode 113, which yep. airs after this. Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday. Oh, does oh. It? it depends on my internet. <laughs> it depends my on your speed internet. is what? My 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 upload speed is one Mbps. <laughs> it used to be twenty five. Now it is one. So just <laughs> it's the dog's fault. <laughs> She's right. laying down eating a squeaky toy. <laughs> well, this has been another fun episode of what is this one called? This is called the place you. <laughs> oh hey, you can't you can see it. <laughs> I've never told me the odds. Those are some nice bets. I like those. I like that we all have some. There she is. Hey. Hey. (laughs) This has been Never Tell Me the Odds. Andrew, thank you for coming on the show. Now get out of my house. Deal. James, uh, thank you for not putting the camera back where it was, but that's fine. (laughs) We can see you. There we go. That's even worse. I don't know what's going on. Uh, That's just Emma saying, guys, let us know your predictions for episode nine in the mm-hmm. comments below. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. One year away. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Haley is excited. I'm excited. Uh, Andrew, are you excited? No, I don't want to see this movie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you will go to see the new mutants, <laughs> uh, which I think comes out a couple months prior. Hmm. All right. Let us know what you guys think. Answer all the questions. Put it in the comments below. This is me pretending to be on top of the YouTube thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll, we're right in a year, and I'm really glad you hopefully have your stuff. all my answers are right. <laughs> all of them, especially the, the runtime I, one. I'm pretty sure all of mine are wrong. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Adios, amigos. Hey scumbags, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.